Hello students, Ms. Larkin here. This is just a quick video to show you how to find the um, links for the live sessions. So really quick, if you're on the course page, it's super easy. Just scroll down and you'll see where it says Class Connect on the right hand side over here. And you'll have different classes. So for example, you might have a Sci 202A class um, for biology. You would click on that link. For example, right now I just have a office link just to show you. So what you would end up doing is you would go ahead and you would click on this link and it would take you to what's called the Blackboard Collaborate. And Blackboard Collaborate oftentimes automatically has you download the session, which is you have to download it in order for it to open. So I recommend just downloading it to your downloads folder, um, which you can see I have a lot of those right here. So I would go ahead and I would um, maybe give it a name and I would click save and then I would be able to open it up. Um, depending on what browser you're using it might come up on the bottom left hand side over here or you might need to actually it'll pop up up here um, if you're using Firefox. So once you've done that though you can go ahead and click on it and that will open up the Blackboard Collaborate session which is how we do live classes at our school. Now that being said if this is the first time you've ever used Blackboard Collaborate you'll first have to download the Blackboard Collaborate launcher. So you'll go ahead and click this. Um, you'll say I have Windows or Mac, um, depending on if you use PCs or Apple. And then you would click download and you would follow the directions to download the launcher. Once you do that, um, you'll be able to then you can refresh this. And once it again, it'll have you download the actual um, meeting session. And then you can click on the meeting session and that will take you to the live class, which I can show you really quick what that looks like. Um, so you'll see that it'll load and again this means I've already had the launcher done. You only need to download the launcher once but you do need to download the actual meeting the, um, every single time because it's a new meeting. So I would click run allow the um, meeting to open up and then you'll see it continues to load 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 here we go and then it'll open up in your classroom which you'll see here is has a whiteboard, has your teacher, has a chat um, box, has audio and video um, capabilities as well. So I'm going to get rid of that right now, though I don't really need to see that, but that is what your live classes and live tutoring look like. Now that being said, um, again, the easiest way to get to that is just underneath the Class Connect box when you're on your course page. However, if you are on the home page for k12.com, so I'm going to go back to the home page for k12.com, um, you will see that there's um, a bunch of tabs on the left hand side. So you'll see schedule, classes, announcements. If you go ahead and you click where it says schedule, um, you can also see the Class Connect information right here. So for example, same thing, I would just click on this. It would go ahead, oops, sorry, that's an old one. I would click on this. It would open up Blackboard Collaborate. Same thing, once more, you need to save the meeting, assuming you already have downloaded the launcher. Um, and then you can go ahead and click and open the meeting. All right, guys, hopefully that clears up any confusion. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you later.